Bon dia, hello guys, how are you? Como esta? I'm Karolinti from karolinti.com and this is European Portuguese lesson. Today you will learn about reflexive verbs and the place of reflexive pronoun in negative sentences and in the questions. Fiquem comigo! Reflexive verbs are used when the action is something one does to oneself. Reflexive verbs consist of the verbs and of reflexive pronouns. In this case, verb is chamar and reflexive pronoun is s. Chamar s. Reflexive pronoun can be translated into English as myself, yourself, herself, himself, ourselves and themselves. For example, ela lava-se todos os dias. Ela lava-se Todos os dias. Six the most common reflexive verbs you can learn from this lesson. Link to this lesson I leave you now here. And of course in description box below. Only as an example, let's conjugate verb lavarsi, which means to wash oneself. Eu lavo me. Tu lavas te. Ela, ele, você lava se. Nós lavamo nos. Elas, eles, vocês lavam se. As you can see, not only verb conjugates, but also reflexive pronoun changes according to personal pronoun. Eu lavo me. Tu lavas te. Ela, ele, você lava se. Nós lavamo nos. Elas, eles, vocês lavam se. But what happens with a reflexive pronoun in a negative sentence? In a negative sentence, reflexive pronoun stands before the verb. Have a look on these examples. Chamo me Carolina. Chamo me Carolina. In affirmative sentence, reflexive pronoun stands after the verb. No me chamo Carolina. No me chamo Carolina. In negative sentence, reflexive pronoun stands before the verb. Have you ever visited my website carolinti.com? I'm done now. Don't wait too long. There you can find all my episodes, you can buy with me lessons both offline and online, and you can support my channel by making donation or becoming my patron. Check it out! Let's see now more examples with reflexive pronouns in the negative sentences. Não me levanto às sete horas. Não me levanto às sete horas. Words like ninguém, nada, nunca also make negative sentence. For example, Ninguém se veste às oito horas. Ninguém se veste às oito horas. Eles nunca se sentem cansados. Eles nunca se sentem cansados. Reflexive pronoun also stands before the verb when in the sentence appear indefinite pronouns such as alguém, qualquer, cada, tantos, certos. For example, certas pessoas não se comportam bem. Certas pessoas não se comportam bem. Reflexive pronoun stands before the verb, also in questions, when the interrogative pronoun is used. Interrogative pronouns are words such as como, onde, quanto, quando, porque. If you want to learn more or if you want to repeat about making questions in Portuguese, Link to this lesson I leave you now here and of course in the description box below. Let's see some examples of the questions with the reflexive pronouns. Sherry, como se chama? Como se chama? Quando te levantas? Quando te levantas? That's all for today. Thank you for watching till the end of this episode. I hope this lesson helps you a lot. Let me know about it in the comments. For more content, you can see my previous lessons. Don't forget also to leave your thumbs up, share and subscribe. Take care and I see you soon. After that. But what happens with re But what happens with a pronoun? But what happens with a well, But what happens with a reflexive pronoun in the negative? What <coughs>